A team from the North Dakota Department of Health recently completed a site visit of the Fargo Cass Public Health Family Planning Program. During the visit, the surveyors, surveyors shared positive feedback regarding the facility, the staff, and the care provided to the clients. Fargo Cass Public Health has been offering family planning services to the community since 1972 and provides pap smears, immunizations, breast and pelvic exams, birth control, health education, and SD, STD counseling, testing, and treatment. Again, they were complimented by the great service to the community. Library. The, wriggle room, the wiggle room at the downtown library has reopened. The teen time at downtown library will be March 22nd and it is open to teens aged 10 to 18. The tech, teen, uh, the tech kids camp for children grades three to six is March 26th at the downtown library. Presented by members of NDSU Society of Women Engineers and children will learn about engineering through hands-on activity. The Fargo Public Library, in partnership with Grand Forks, West Fargo, Moorhead, <coughs> and Wapiton Libraries, will host a Red River Valley Kids Read Project in April that will mark the 25th anniversary of the 1997 Red River Valley Flood. The project centers around the storm warnings by Elizabeth Rahm. Speaking of floods, the uh, terminalistic probability of a flood this year is it going to hit 29.5. That should happen this weekend. The only bridge you will knock out of the 12th Avenue Bridge, or Broadway's already down because you can't use that. There'll be some uh, inconveniences around the community, but we're well prepared for that type of flood. Today, the comms team is going to produce a video of last Saturday's St. Patrick's Day Parade. Enjoy. <laughs> 